This summer's historic flooding knocked out a good part of Yellowstone National Park summer tourist season. But now, thanks to washed out roads, school children are struggling to cope. Here's MTN's John Shear from Gardner. A lot of schools have a bear for a mascot, but who else can say their mascot is framed by some of Yellowstone's famous peaks? Where elk graze just beyond the end zone, the football field is framed by Yellowstone's famous arch, and kids rush to the window to gaze at a huge bull elk. The Gardner School is unique, and now it's facing a unique problem. When a 500-year flood wiped out the only road connecting Gardner, right here, with park headquarters over these hills up in Mammoth, it also stranded more than 50 school children who go to class in Gardner. So I first put my seven-year-old on the bus, then I get in the car with my three-year-old and drive down. But driving down is no easy task because there's a mad rush to finish improving and paving a temporary road to, before winter, replace the one that washed out, the road is now closed. Just a few convoys a day, supervised by rangers, are allowed. And then at five, I'll leave my house and drive down to pick up my three-year-old, get back up home at around six, and then my seven-year-old gets off the bus at about 6.15. Well, I I think it's going as best it, as it can be going. Um, we've got a lot of tired kids, you know, they're spending a lot of hours here. Evenings are tough. There's just not enough time in the evening for us to really wind down and see each other and eat and bathe and get ready for the following day. The kids notice it too. Uh, yeah, it is kind of annoying sometimes because we have to wake up a little earlier. It's a different road, yeah. which is kind of way more bumpy. My job and my role is to make sure that the community need is met. Um, our parents play a vital role, a huge role, in keeping this town um, up and running and alive. So if they don't have childcare, it really makes their job really, really hard. And so then that means that the, the town kind of falls too. In five more weeks, the temporary road is expected to be open. Both Bear and Nico are optimistic. It's exciting to see the changes in the road every day, and I do feel confident um, that they're going to get it done by the October 15th date that they set, so that is reassuring. Even when the road is ready for travel, there will be length and weight restrictions. The school district had to spend $86,000 on a smaller bus that will meet those requirements.